What is up guys, welcome back to another vid. Today we got a gloomy, windy, gross day. It's 44 degrees and it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning, but that's not gonna stop us. We're gonna go out, the lake looks like it's got a little water on it, but there should be like seven inches of ice. So I think we'll be good. Stay tuned, going after some bluegills and crappies. See what we can catch. That ain't good. We got some water, a lot of water. All right, guys, got all set up. Uh, it's pretty windy. Um, there's a side by side driving by me right now. I would not definitely, definitely not have a side by side out here right now, especially with all this water. I mean, there's just water everywhere. I don't know what you guys can. See, I mean, you can see it moving around down here, but yeah, we came out here yesterday and uh, I definitely forgot my camera stuff. We put the absolute waxing on them, but uh, today's a new day, completely different conditions. I just dropped down, so we're going to see if we can pick a few of them off. It seemed like yesterday it was pretty hot and heavy, just steady action the whole day. But we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Might have to make a audible and switch lakes or switch spots. I don't know. I didn't bring an auger because I've just figured all the holes that we cut from yesterday will still be open. All right, guys. Today's setup, same thing. 2B dead stick. Left my rods up at Murray's, and uh, they're still there. Haven't gone up and got them yet. And I'm using the ICX Carbon by PC Fun. Man, this thing is pretty sweet. Um, just one click, boom, starts going down. Oversized knobs, I like the handle with, got the two two knobs on there. Um, good drag system, and just a smooth reel overall. If you guys wanna pick one of these up. Oh, phone call, who is it? Augie, let's see what he's got. Hello. Hey, Brooks is alive. It is, it is a proven fact that Bro Brooks is alive. Brooks made it? Brooks made it through the night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How hung? Oh, very. Brooks is very hung. He, 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 no, he's fine. He puked last night, so he puked behind. Um, oh, Mark and Mark and hot Mark, hot Mark. Just wait. Hold on. Hold on. He's coming. Hooked up. On the phone with Og, and it's just a little gill. Oh, wow, goddamn. But number one of the day, all right, they're around. Let's get right back down there, push the button. I haven't messed around with like adjusting this to make it spin faster or slower. It's kind of perfect where the jig that I'm using. Uh, but man, that thing gets down there in a hurry. Back to jigging. Could probably tighten my drag up just a touch. It's got the nice star drag on it right here. See, audible too, so you can hear how much you're moving it. So far, so good. I'm liking this reel a lot. Liking this rod a lot. I can't wait to actually use it for walleyes and give it a true test. But for panfish, man, this rod's super sensitive, and uh, it actually fights them really nice. All right, back to fishing. All right, I think I'm going to switch it up. Um, got a whole bunch of new crab slaps by Sub-Zero, Cast Cray. Uh, what am I going to go with? We got some pink, we got white. Ooh, I like the look of those. Oop, right into the water. More pink. Black, chartreuse. God, I might give these chartreuse ones a try right here. These things look pretty sweet. Just a little, little. Nice little flappy tail. Well, you're going to slap one of these on here and try it out. If you guys want any of these products, go check them out. Um, they're linked down below. Um, and use use the code that's down there for a percentage off. Some pretty sweet looking plastics. 
There's that. Look at that. Ooh. All right, we'll see if the fish want this now. Ooh. The fish seem to be in a pretty negative mood today. Um, so I might have to tip this with either wax worms or your larva. But um, I'm going to just try it plain for right now. Sometimes they just want it plain with no bait at all. Sometimes they want bait on it. Sometimes they don't like plastic. Sometimes they do. Just going to keep trying things out until they bite. There we go. Hooked up. Just another little gill. Man. Little, little, little. Being super finicky. That came on the cash gray plastic, baby. All right, so here's just a couple different styles. This is kind of a, just you hook it right on there. Kind of just got a long squiggly tail. Kind of got a lot of a lot of fast movement. Don't have to jig your jig too hard. That this will do the, most of the jigging for you. Here, show most of the action. Um, next we got like this power minnow type deal. Be sweet on a jig head for some walleyes. Um, looks like it's ribbed so that that tail will move pretty good. This is the same thing that I'm using but just a different color. It's kind of just like a little insect imitator. Pretty sweet looking though. I like the colors. There's so many colors guys. Go check them out. Look at all the colors. Um, everything like I said will be linked down below. Here's more of those one things just in a different, different color. More blue blue and red flake and here's something that's pretty sweet let me see if I can pull these out these ones look really cool I don't know if you guys can see that but um, it's just kind of like an insect profile and it's got a little paddle on the tail so when you move it it's a pushing a lot of water hopefully coax in some big fish for you but yeah go check them out Crab Slap by Cass Gray. Link down below. Use code BROCK10. I believe that's what it is. It's it's linked down there. Check it out. Hooked up. There we go. That's a better bluegill. Not bad. Not bad at all. Whew. Man, that one took forever too. I didn't even have my GoPro recording when I set the hook. But gorgeous. Alright, mid, uh, midday update. It's not good. Um, not good at all. Caught like four fish, five fish, and yesterday we caught like a hundred fish in five minutes. So, um, oh, I might be marking. Yeah, slow day. I don't know if it's the weather conditions. I don't know if it's just the pressure that this lake's got. There's a whole bunch of people out here. Um, I don't know. I might move spots. I don't have an auger though, so I can't really drill any holes. I got a chisel so I could like chisel a hole, but um, it seems like a lot of work in this water, slipping and sliding around. I don't have ice cleats. I just didn't really come prepared today. Um, I was just hoping the fish were biting and uh, they ain't. So gonna stick it out for a little bit longer. Stay tuned. Hopefully it goes down. There we go. Hooked up. This is a nice bluegill. It's wrapped to my producer. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just pop him off. Get my plastic bag. Oop. All right. Out of the depths you go. Thank you. All right, guys, we just got off the lake. It was brutal. Uh, the walk out, the walk back, the fishing, everything was just extremely tough. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking along. Um, got some awesome products that I'm using this year, so make sure you guys go check that down below. Um, other than that, thanks for staying tuned. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments. Uh, I try to get back to every single one, but until next time, we'll see you. Have a good one, guys. What it do? Five in the morning and I got my mind on loop. I never sleep cause they
just woke up in the Bugatti I woke up in the coupe The G 35 gin and juice where I woke up feeling like Snoop And the whole team ready about the action and we didn't come to lose Now we didn't come to lose A certified polymath, I am living proof